Hi, this is Muhammad Barakat. Welcome to my blog site. Whether in our professional or personal life, we usually face situations in which we have several alternatives or options that we have to select the best one of them to do or to act upon. The common sense tells us that in order to reach to the best option, we have to compare these options against a set of criteria. For example, if you plan to spend your summer vacation somewhere and you have several places, you will start rating these places in terms of how costly each one of them is, in terms of hotel ranking, in terms of distance, in terms of how amusing is the place, etc. After you have rated each location against this set of criteria, you will decide on the best place to go for your vacation. And this is what actually the prioritization matrix helps us do in both our professional and personal, personal initiatives. Prioritization matrix is a decision-making tool, which is one of the seven management and planning tools in, used in Six Sigma and quality management in general. They are the affinity diagram, the tree diagram, the matrix diagram, the interrelationship digraph, activity network diagram, and process decision program chart in addition to the prioritization matrix. Well, this tool is actually used to determine the best option to select among several ones based on specific criteria using numerical values. Actually, it can also be used when you have several actions to take while you have limited resources. So you can have your team focus on the best actions to do uh, to save time, for example. And it helps increase efficiency and effectiveness of your project plan as a result. One of the important benefits of this matrix is that it helps resolve disagreements between team members when they are divided over the best option to select or the best action to take. Why? Because this tool actually depends on team consensus to assign criteria weights and options rating. Well, let's see what a prioritization matrix may look like. This figure pres represents a section of a prioritization matrix used to decide on the best Six Sigma project to initiate based on a set of criteria. We have projects A, B and C and we have the criteria that we hope to find a project that's, that best satisfies it. We will rate each project as how much it is linked to strategy, how much it impacts the bottom line or cost savings, how much it affects customer satisfaction, and how it affects our competitive edge. Each criteria item has its own weight compared to other criteria items. So, the link to strategy criterion has a 0.1 weight, while cost saving has 0.3. In other words, cost saving is actually three times as important as link to strategy criterion. By this, we have our criteria weighted according to importance. Similarly, we rate each project against each criterion. For example, project B would have three times the effect on customer satisfaction as that of project A. When weighing criteria and rating projects against the criteria are completed, project scores are calculated by multiplying criteria weight by project rating, then summing up the scores for each project throughout all criterion. The total score for each project will determine its ranking relative to other projects, which in turn will help us decide the best project to initiate. And obviously, it is the project with the highest total score. Well, what does this mean practically? By doing these calculations, we actually have figured out which project has the highest impact collectively on all criteria items, 
taking into consideration the importance of criteria items. In this example, even if project B is more linked to strategy than project A, it is not a better op option because linkage to strategy has the lowest importance relative to other criteria items. Okay, let's see how we can build the prioritization matrix in Microsoft Office Excel. To make it simple, we will use two L-shaped matrices, as you can see, matrix 1 and matrix 2. One is used to record the criteria weight, which is the orange area, and the other is used to record the options ratings relative to the criteria, which is the purple area here. The second matrix is used to record options scores based on the criteria weights and options ratings in this gray area. Well, we'll start with the first matrix. After listing all options from which we need to select the best one, in this case they are project A, B, C, and D, the team working on the prioritization matrix should agree on the criteria items along with their weights. The simplest method to set criteria weights is actually to start with the least important criterion and assign a 1 to it. Then assign weights to other items as multiples of it. So we'll assign 1 to link to strategy criterion. Assuming it is the least important then 4 to cost saving criterion which we think is 4 times as important as the link to strategy item then 6 to increase customer satisfaction and finally 2 to competitive edge well in order to be able to compare apples to apples we need to standardize weights to be out of one point so we sum up criteria weights, weights, which is 13 points here. Then divide each weight by the sum. I'll use the pay special trick here to perform the division operation. So I'll copy the sum result. Then select criteria weights and right click to paste special select paste special down in the paste group select values and in the operation group select divide and hit ok this means that I, that I'm pasting the result while performing a division operation Okay, the weights are now based on one point and must sum up to one. Now, we'll apply the same approach to rate projects from A to D against each criterion. Let's assume that project D is the least one linked to strategy so I'll assign 1 to it. Project C is 4 times more probable than D as linkage to strategy so I'll assign 4 to it. Then project B is 3 and finally project A is 2 times. We will do this for all projects, then sum up the project ratings for each criterion vertically. After that we need to do the same as with regards to uh, weighing the rating uh, on, on one point. So I'll copy the sums, then select the ratings, right click, 
p special values divide and OK. So all ratings are now based on one point scale. As you recall, we need now to calculate each project's score by multiplying each criterion weight by its relevant project rating. The easiest way to perform this operation actually for the entire matrix is by following these steps. First, select all criteria weights and give it a name by writing the name in the name box. Let's call it criteria. Hit enter. Then in the second matrix, in the first uh, cell of the project score, uh, write the score formula, which is for this criteria is equal to the criteria that we have just defined, double click to select it, times the project rating, and enter. Drag this formula horizontally and vertically to get the scores for all projects. The last step left to get your best project actually is summing up scores for each project, which is shown under the total score column here. Well, this tells us that project C is the best one to initiate since it has the highest score 0.33 based this is based on the criteria and based on its performance to this criteria compared to other projects well I hope this video clarified the great benefit of using the prioritization matrix in our work and our personal plans that need decision making based on several criteria and I hope that I have managed to let you build this matrix with Microsoft Office Excel with the simplest approach. Thank you for listening and see you in next videos.